In this video, I'm going to describe how to keep an API key secret from Git or GitHub in Visual Studio 2022. This is a question that I've received quite a bit frequently about, I have a JSON feed I need to call with an API key, but how do I keep that from going to GitHub where anyone can see it? And my old answer was to add it to a text file and add that text file to a Git ignore file, uh, and then it doesn't go to GitHub, but that felt kind of like a hack. And so I found a better approach I want to share and walk through, and I want to give credit here to Mytham Fami, who wrote this article that was exactly what I was looking for, which is how to do this in Visual Studio. So I worked through it, worked like a charm, and this video is simply uh, going to work through that in my project and hopefully show you how to do the same thing. First, we navigate to Visual Studio and go to the Developer PowerShell tab down towards the lower left. And you notice I'm in my project, Plant Diary 2022. We actually have to go to the directory where the .cs proj file is, which usually is that same name, but one more down. So let's cd to there. Next, enter the command .net space user dash secret space init. And we get a success message. And if we look at the CS proj file, we'll notice that there's a change here where it's added a user secrets ID after we ran that command. Now we can add a secret also on the terminal. This will typically be your API key or whatever you want to keep hidden. And so I issue the command .NET space user dash secret space set space API key space and then some API key that I've made up, obviously. And we get a confirmation that it's been stored to the secret store. And what that actually does is it creates a file outside of our project. And you see here it's under basically app data uh, and then Microsoft and then user secret. So it puts it up here. Double click on here and let's take a look at what's in this file. And guess what? It's a simple JSON file with the name that we gave it for the key and the value we gave it for the key. So remember API key, my API key. But notice because it's outside of the flow of our project, uh, it's not something that's going to get committed to GitHub. But now we also need to be able to consume this programmatically inside of our project. I'm going to do a quick and dirty here in the on Git. I'm just going to pull it out, then I'm going to pass it up to my CSHTML page so that we can see the value and confirm that it is working. So you see, we simply get a reference to the configuration. Uh, we ask for the user secrets, and then we pull out the one that's associated with API key, which remember, we just saw that in Notepad when I opened it up directly from the Windows Explorer. And then I'm going to use view data to pass that up to the CSHTML file. Uh, and I will print this out from our CSHTML file, which, of course, we wouldn't normally print our API key right on that CSHTML file. But nonetheless, I want to show you that we are able to read it, and we're able to read it as a variable or as a string, which means we can concatenate it with other strings, including the endpoint that we're using to hit some kind of JSON stream that requires this key. I'll print it just right towards the top there. The program finishes running, and what do we see at the top here but my API key. So in this video, we've seen how to have an API key that we keep outside of our project, yet we're able to pull in programmatically so that it doesn't get Git and pushed to uh, GitHub. So uh, what I would do in that case is if you're working with other developers is just share that key with them and have, that run that, have them run that same command instead of cloning from GitHub, something like that. And of course, specify in your readme uh, how you're storing your API key and how to access it programmatically uh, so that someone who clones your project, uh, who is authorized to clone your project, knows also how to plug in that API key. So as always, I hope this video was helpful, and I look forward to reading your comments. Thank you.